Hello YouTube, Salivate Metal here, and we are going to perform another test. This is the specific gravity test for silver and compare it to copper. So we're going to try to see how this turns out. So at first we need our controls for the experiment, and uh, that will be uh, a one ounce AVDP copper round and a one troy ounce silver round. So we will compare those, and first what we're going to do is we're going to weigh them in grams. And as we all know, silver is 31.1 grams. So we're gonna we're gonna first weigh the silver here and see what that comes to here. This specific piece, it appears to be 31.3 grams of silver. So they they did us a little favor there and added a little extra silver. So we're gonna do that, and we'll come back to the copper because first we're gonna do our specific gravity test on the silver piece and I have uh, fashioned a string here that we will tie around the silver round here and hopefully it won't come out so you will just put the silver round inside of the piece here and that is what we will dip into the water to test it but before we do that we need to tear out our our water here in the glass and inside the glass we can see that it weighs 639 grams so we will tear that out and get a zero and sort of test this and see what the specific gravity is using the this is a very delicate operation as you can imagine we may lose our silver round inside the glass. I hope not, but we're going to try it. And hope that the string catches on one of the reeds there. And the trick is to get this to suspend inside of the glass without touching either So there we see it suspended in the glass and we're going to get a reading on it. And you can't see it because I only have one hand here, but I'm going to try to get the camera over here so you can see that it says three grams as it's suspended inside the water there. So now I can remove the silver round here and we can make a little test. We can use our trusty calculator here. Let me get this out of the sun, and we will take the 31.3 grams and divide that by the 3 grams of the specific gravity, and we will should get 10.433, and the specific gravity of silver is 10.5, so we're very, very close. So that test is our control. Now we will do the same thing for copper. So we're going to tear it out again. And our copper ABDP ounce coin is 28.9 grams. So now we will do the test and see what the specific gravity is on that. So we'll put the put the glass of water back up there again and tear it out to zero. And we will put the copper round inside our, of our loop here in our string and submerge it into the water to see what we get here. This test is nothing new. It was recommended to me by several based off of my first video, Can You Trust the Magnet Test? So this is not a new experiment by any means, but it's the first time I'm doing it. It's the first time using controls and comparing it to other metals, most commonly copper. We will submerge the copper piece and notice that it's not touching either side. So we're going to see what the specific what the, the what the weight is on that. Three point four, three point three. 
3.4 looks like. So now we remove that from the piece and we will do our calculations here. Let's tear it out and let's check that weight one more time. 28.9. So we'll get our trusted calculator here. 28.9. Divided by 3.4. 8.5. So quite a... So it's 8.5 there. So quite a difference, as you can see, between the two. And uh, so you can see there the specific gravity is probably the best test to compare as long as you have the controls in effect and know the specific gravity of silver compared to other metals. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Using the specific gravity test, water and the like, as a further test of silver. So I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.